What is up guys, my name is Talhan, you are watching Gadgets Sphere. So in today's video, I am going to do the full review of the Pixel Experience Beta official in the Poco X3 Pro. Now, first things first, I have been using this since around a week now. Like literally, it's more than a week now. And that's the main reason I'm making videos late because I want to actually first test the room and then tell you about it. First of all, as you guys can see here, the bottom layout is finally fixed and there's a nice gap between this uh, bottom bar that is the navigation bar and the Google bar and also the icons. And also this gap between the icons is not too much. Earlier it was too much. So now they have actually kind of fixed that. So that looks very nice and pleasant. And they've also fixed this thing, which is the, you know, the battery percentage and this thing. Now, there was also a lot of gap and it was actually a lot towards the left. Now they have done it towards the center and it actually looks a lot better now. So now, now all the fixes aside, let's just talk about the room itself. Now, there is one thing which I really I got disappointed at and that is this room does not have the option to switch screen refresh rate that is really disappointing like why man come on we should have actually got that option in this room so that is one of the biggest disappointments like you cannot actually use it in 60 hertz or 90 hertz it is going to be 120 all the time and you know what because of that it actually drains up a lot of battery like i'm not even joking i have been using this since a week now and i can say the battery life is very poor in this room like right now it is at 80 percent and literally i haven't even used the phone right now like i have just watched uh like two youtube videos of just 30 minutes maybe an hour and 20 percent is already down and you know i watch videos normally in just like this much brightness so that is one thing and now talking about brightness there was there is also one thing which i found out that is if you go in the brightness slide and you decrease it less than half it goes very low and very dim so that is also very bad like if you like in miui or in other rooms if you do like 25 percent it's bright enough but here it is just very dim so you need to actually increase your brightness more than like 50 percent to make it at least visible and you know enjoyable so that is one thing that the brightness is a little low now we are going to talk about the new volume style it is absolutely awesome as you guys can see it looks also really awesome and it is very convenient if you want to just quickly silent something or vibrate something it's just very convenient so that is one thing which i really appreciate in this room now let's just talk about the smoothness and talking about smoothness as i already told you in a week i can tell you this room is good but it's still a beta and beta i have like faced many crashes in this so it's not the most stable one and definitely app opening speeds can be better like i have used other rooms which are of like maybe let's say the oxygen os room and you know what the new port is also right now available so i'm in, uh, just downloading the new port of the oxygen os which is gonna be really awesome that's for sure 100 percent now here we have this nice bloom wallpaper it is working perfectly fine and we also have a lot of wallpapers here so if you go and change wallpaper in bloom you guys can see all the pixel 6 wallpapers are in this and we can use it even the live ones if i go here look at that even inside the preview it is actually moving so that's pretty neat and if you go here you can change the wallpaper look at that that also looks damn awesome isn't it you can change this wallpaper oh my god that's also beautiful so yeah as i told you it has a lot of wallpapers you can change and switch between them as you like this one is also pretty damn awesome it also changes the accent color to show you how it will look like if you will apply this so let's just apply this and show you how it will look like and there you go it's done now one thing to note if it doesn't apply automatically like this you know look at that that's actually a bug so how to fix that basically just again turn on and there you go now it's a lot more reddish so that's one thing like this room is full of bugs so if i would just have to give you an advice like should you try this or not i actually have no problems like i have been using it since a week but uh, you know what there's just not that feeling of pixel which i used to had using android 11 rooms so let me just show you the geekbench score right now if i go in history this is the Geekbench score you get. It's damn low, man. Like, it should be at least 2600 and 760. At least that much I should expect from this device. So, yeah, if I go down, you guys can see that is uh, this is our Poco X3 Pro. It's actually pretty low. 
and here in multi core also it's 2419 which is pretty low compared to the average it should be around like uh, you know 2500 to 2600 as i already told you so yeah like this room is not good for gaming and the battery life is also very very poor in this room so what is this room actually good for to be honest if you want to just try out new android 12 rooms definitely this is one of the best ones it has the least bugs but still it does have bugs so that's one thing you're not going to have a bug free experience in any android 12 room as of now and if you want to use it as a daily driver you can but as i would suggest you shouldn't like this is still in a beta process poco x3 pro is a lot better device like if uh, now if I, if I would use this oxygen os i am a billion times sure that this is gonna be better than this pixel so yeah <clears throat> this is the first time it's very sad to say i am actually a bit disappointed in the google pixel beta version right now as i said beta because you know it's a beta maybe they can improve it they can make it a lot better but as of now like uh, i'm really disappointed like it can be it should have been a little better but still i really appreciate that the developers are working for it and i think they will quickly achieve their target as well so yeah that wraps up today's video if you like uh, this video make sure you subscribe my channel for more videos regarding the poco x3 pro next i'm going to use the oxygen OS, the latest version for about a week now and then review that so yeah please subscribe catch in the next one and we are also going to do a gaming review so stay tuned peace out